how to find your favorite American TV shows on the Chinese video apps. What's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to find your favorite American TV shows on Chinese apps. So usually I don't have a lot of time to watch TV shows in general, but sometimes when I'm tired and, you know, let's be honest, I try to watch Chinese TV shows, but after a long day of work, I don't really feel like listening to like noisy Chinese TV hosts. So when I am done with work, I try to find American TV shows to watch. It feels a little bit more like home. Well, not super much, but still, I've grown up with like Friends and uh, Beverly Hills 90210. So I feel like Ellen DeGeneres, Kim Kardashian and... I don't know, James Corden, they just, I can relate a little bit more. Yeah, all of us know that most of our social media sites are blocked here in our beloved China, of course. So sometimes it's quite hard to find what you want to watch. But I have been looking a little bit around and researched quite a bit on Baidu. So Baidu is my new best friend because Google is not here. <laughs> um, and I thought I wanted to share with you guys what I've found and how you can find your favorite show as well. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. First step, and also I would probably say it's the trickiest thing as well, is to figure out what is your favorite show called in Chinese. Well, I have learned that it's actually not that hard to figure out. First, you just access, access the internet, go on to like search engines such as Bing or Yahoo, and then you write, well, let's use uh, Ellen DeGeneres as an example. So you write her name, Ellen DeGeneres in English, and then you find her Wikipedia page. When you click on that one, you can actually choose the language, so it will probably be in English, and then you can change it to Chinese, or Zhongwen, as it, it, Chinese is called in Chinese, and then you can see what the Chinese call her in Chinese. That's super smart because after you have gotten her Chinese name, then what I usually do is I just copy paste straight from Wikipedia into either my notes where I'll write her English name and her Chinese name so I know for future searches. And then I will copy it straight into the video apps. I usually watch Ellen DeGeneres on ITE, the Chinese video app ITE. And then she comes up immediately with the newest seasons and immediately after the show is uh, has aired in America, you can watch it on Chinese video apps. And because you, you don't have to log on to a VPN, it's just so much faster as well. It's really a blessing if you are used to, just like me, always fighting the VPN, always finding the, fighting the slow internet and those kind of things. Another website that I have been using a lot lately is called Titi Meiju, so tiantianmeiju.vip. I'll put the links below as well so you can just check it out from the description box straight, yeah. Um, so what you have to do there is you have to set up an account. I did that first because before you could actually download the programs without an account, but now it has changed. So I set up an account. It's all in Chinese, by the way. I don't think there's any English version. I guess you can use like translate on your computer or just ask a Chinese friend to come over or you can practice your Chinese just by trying. That's what I've been doing, you know. If I don't know a word, I'll just put it in Pleco, write it down and then I'll figure it out like as I go. Yeah, so set up an account and then you just search for your favorite program. That's where I usually watch James Corden's uh, Late Late Night Show, I think it's called and also keeping up with the Kardashian. So again, as I said, the, the episodes are literally out just after airing in America, which is so amazing. I follow all of those shows 
every time. It's it's really really great. One thing though is that when you have after you have logged into this website, then when you save the link, when you save the program, then you can save it to your Baidu cloud. So you need to have a Baidu cloud as well. It's literally just like a Dropbox. It's super easy, but you need a Chinese phone number to set it up. You can have the Baidu cloud both on your computer but also on your phone so you can watch whenever you want to. Mine is not really downloaded onto my phone or my computer. It's just it's saved in the cloud, so I still need Wi-Fi to watch it, but still it's so freaking convenient. Apart from watching Ellen DeGeneres on the ITE app and Keeping up with the Kardashians and James Corden on TT Meiji website. I also watch Friends on, I think it's called Suko or Soko. They're, yeah, I, I always say the wrong name, but I'll write it here so you can find it as well. So that was all for this little video. I know that there was a lot of information here and if you're thinking, oh my goodness grace, how am I gonna figure this out? Well, don't worry guys, I've actually made a little freebie for you, like a little instruction, like a little what to do, step one, two, three, uh, with, which you can follow with screenshots. So it's easier for you to save your favorite shows, find them and save them and watch them. So if you want that one, you can check out the link in the description box below. Um, I'm asking for your email address so you can also be a part of my newsletter. I hope that's okay. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Please let me know in the comments below if you have other great suggestions or other great tips and tricks on how to find your favorite or our favorite American shows or maybe different countries shows. Now I know I've just focused on America this time. I hope that's okay. And yeah, thank you for watching. Feel free to follow my Instagram Lena around, Facebook Lena around and Patreon Lena around. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and Zai Tian. Bye bye.